What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this Garander. And today we're going up against Thomas the the Rizzle Man. Now, this guy is a player I highly, highly respect as a player. He has a lot of good things going with him, a lot of good ideas, and uh, yeah, generally tough to battle against. Uh, hard time getting through, and uh, he usually have a very good synergy in his team. Now, uh, this is while well, I was fail testing the team, and. Uh, we're going against some major threats in RU, which is Sigalith, Jolteon, Clawlister, Mega Bandit, Trevelyan, and Radicate actually. I really like Radicate, I really do. And looking through this team, uh, as of the previous episode, I needed to stick with up in this battle, because with a lot of fast Pokemon not with Trevelyan, Radicate, and Jolteon being the faster one, and Clawlister is good to outspeed, I really want to outspeed that. And Sigalith could be dangerous whether or not I get the chance to uh, Get in the right position before that thing sets up, if that is the uh, staller set. I myself use in Sea Rattle, Metacham, Electric, you know, Electros, Eclodius, the Drapion, and Tyrantrum. Now, this team is based on the top threats, but Bandit is definitely one of the toughest ones for me to deal with. Um, really, Will O Wisp, my whole, my, my whole team could be uh, quite an issue. Now, I know Drapion has Snape, Sniper, and Scopeland, so I'm gonna bet on coming up a position where. I can crit the Bannet and get uh, will o -Wisp in the process. And uh, yeah, besides that, I'm gonna start off with uh, Levani just basically to get the stick web up and hope that I can um, find a position after that. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. So, yeah, from the get go here, he is actually gonna start with Radicate. Now, that is not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I have Focus Sash with my Levani, so I can get the stick web up whether he likes that or not. Which is awesome and really all I need it. It's gonna go for U-turn, which is a neutral hit. And with that damage, that guy is definitely banded. There is no way without the guts boost that will put in that range. So that's a hustle choice band set, and that's just all kinds of hell for me. Now he's gonna go to Maverick and I get my stick web up, which is well I guess to some fashion kind of important. Now it feels like Shadow Snake is his go-to attack, so decided going to close this because Clawless is quite bulky, and I really hope that I could take quite well a few of these hits. And he's gonna, of course, Mega Vol, Mega Bandit, damn beast, so tough to deal with in RU. It really is. Prankster is such a good ability, and of course it goes for the Shadow Sneak. And I, in fact, uh, to be honest, I don't really take it that well, but I know I can take at least one more. So I decided to go for Nora Severe, predicting Cavalion. That is not what happens, and the worst part is, had he stayed in there with his bandit, I would have be put in a very bad position. Now, I didn't want to go for Dark Pulse because it has the value, and of course it's justified, we can be, well, boost its attack really, so I didn't want to go for a talking whatsoever. So anyway, I'm going to go to Grindel and basically take whatever he's going to go for, I know I can take this. Uh, but I don't take it as well as I really hoped that I would do, but it's, you know, in a way it's kind of fine, I guess. And I actually decided here to go for a Gear Rain, hoping to uh, recover something. But Sigalith is just the perfect wall, as always. God damn it, this thing is really dangerous for me. But he's gonna show me Toxic instead of the Flame Orb, but that's kind of gay. Okay. And he's gonna go for Cosmic Power. I don't really uh, are that scared of it because, like I said, I have the Drapion and it has the Sniper and Scope Lens and whatnot. And a crit should be just about enough to take it out. But my Volt Switch does way more than I thought it would. Way more. So I decided to go into Clay Master basically because I could kind of force him out. And go for Ice Punch just to finish it off. And uh, I'm gonna, of course, showcase my uh, disgusting Life Orb. Uh, that's the set I wanna go with. I was debating whether or not you'd have a Salt Vest. But I ended up uh, going for Life Orb and Drain Punch. So, in a way, here I really felt that, you know, he's gonna go for Willow. I don't want to whittle down my claw lister. I'm gonna do the play. I was debating whether or not I should do and go into Contamil actually and just take this Shadow Sneak and then go into Drapion and uh, hope, and I mean hope, that either he has not Will O Wisp and if so, then that's fine, or that I can crit him and kill him by that. But sadly, he just had the Will O Wisp, um, which is really bad generally, but at the same time. I do have this Pokemon for a reason, and we're gonna crit that bitch out of here. So, mm, get out! Snipe! <laughs> I 
I really like Drapion though, I really do. Um, the sniper set with scope lens makes this quite formidable in RU, and where, with the defensive being quite good, it still is in that fashion where I just prefer the damage over the defensive mechanisms. And of course I have the EQ to deal with uh, annoying steel types, I don't score a crit of course, but uh, my opponent actually goes for Volt Switch, which, to be honest, I did not see coming. I was really sure I was going to go for an Iron Head, and I was in a position where I actually sack this guy off. And um, he's going to go into Prone Stars, and that means that my Electros can come back in and actually soak that a bit and then retaliate back on. And uh, that was what I was going to do. That was really all I got. And um, at the same time here, you know, going with the Grindel and taking another Skull. I do risk the chance of being burned, which I felt was kind of worth it, but at the same time, with the burn damage, Nerd Skull is definitely in the range of taking me out. Now, due to the stick web, I am able to have speed because we share speed ties, and the get rain is, yeah, it does like a lot of damage, but it's still not enough, and it's gonna go for a Skull, and I will live this, and um, I was thinking that my opponent would probably go for uh, his Cobalion this time, so we decided to go for a flamethrower, and uh, yeah, he stays in, and this is really bad. I do score the 10% burn, which is just, what the fuck game, really? And the skull will of course finish me off, and uh, yeah, that was kind of a bad play, to be honest, but at the same time, I had really nothing to lose, and um, as of right now, I just, I knew I can go to my Medicham, or the Klimasard, and basically finish him off, um, hoping that it goes for his Eradicate here, and basically set up the mind games that is that I I know due to the previous damage I know that that thing must be banned that there is no other way he would play that Pokemon with hustle and whatnot so you're gonna go to his red moves I decided here that I'm gonna go for bullet punch it's very likely that he will go for a sucker punch and due to the stick web I am now able to outspeed even with priority and I go for the bullet punch and luckily for me he goes for the sucker punch now, I know that he does not want to stay in because he's locked into that, I can just keep going for bullet punches. So I decided to go for Drain Punch, basically, like I said, I have really nothing to lose. I still have the Trantrum, which can come through here if I want to. And I felt generally really, really evil here because the Drain Punch is so mean. And of course, gonna kill Jolteon. And, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I felt really mean because it was all about mind games. I could just as well have lost my Klima Surge right there and then and stayed in and just kept going for Choice Banded. Sucker Punch. Now, I knew that he was probably not gonna do that again, predicting my Bullet Punch, because, let's face it, he can take another Bullet Punch. So I was thinking, yeah, right, I just go for Drain Punch, boom, bada boom. If I lose him, I can still go to my um, <laughs> Tarantrum and finish it off. But he decided actually to go for um, the. Um, or probably something else, probably, um, <laughs> probably Return, if like that. So anything, or anyway, his last Pokemon is Dacrobalion, and due to the stick webs, it will now be slower than the Medicham, and a Dream Punch with Life Form and whatnot is more than the plenty to finish off this game. So Medicham definitely came through this battle, and the Drapion really, really did some major work. So while I do, I think I win 4-0 here, it still is a quite close game. And it was a lot of mind games whether or not this Medicham would keep going or not. And uh, I really think my opponent played a generally good game. It just... I just had that luck this time around. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is definitely one of those times where it obviously works. Uh, and GG, Thomas. GG. So, yeah. I mean, this battle definitely showcase how much sticky web can screw somebody's game up. And Stick Whip is generally a very, very powerful hazard, are you not prepared for it? And are you is definitely a tier that I think it's not that common for the obvious reasons, of course, the posts that are able to set up uh, hazards are not really that good in that tier. But Stick Whip on its own definitely helps out, and it helps out against, of course, the Pokemons that are a bit, well, strong, but still a bit slow, like, oh, like, like I said, the Tarantrum and the Drapion, really. Now, Drapion does possess some kind of speed, but um, it still is not on par with, you know, the likes of Jolteon and whatnot. And they are definitely, uh, in this battle, at least, was giving uh, some kind of pressure that I had hard avoiding off. Now, I do eventually win, which, you know, on its own, it's, uh, it's great. It's, <laughs> it's very lucky. Like I said, 
it was all mind games in the end there and I really believe if my opponent had kept going for those sucker punches that he would have definitely found a momentum I couldn't really have stopped that easy. Now Radicate might not be the most aggressive of pokes but at the same time it was the poke who stood against me for victory or not because of its speed and well power in hustle and whatnot. Uh, so I really want to thank Tristan for that battle. I really think it was a general good game and I like I said I did learn a lot about it because I you know, I am fail testing this team and uh, going against players that I know can kind of catch my guard it's the way to you know get better and did, he definitely did so and I really want to thank you for this battle as always and for everybody else who's been watching thanks so much for watching and of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and remember the sky is limit so till then next time I'll see you then man I screwed that last part over so badly you know what guys take care Bye.